Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of the My Car series from Ampro Engineering. In this episode, we're going to talk about my Grasshopper. So a little backstory on the Grasshopper. This one here is a re-release and was purchased right when these came out. Now, my sister bought me this for Christmas. And to the, the hardcore to me observer, you'll know that, you know, this should say Weber. And to me, it did a number of things to change the branding on the car to... I guess not have to pay uh, licensing, which is really unfortunate, but you know, the car still gets its overall look. Unlike a lot of the Ampro fleet, this car is nearly stock. It does have front ball bearings, transmission ball bearings. I don't have bushings, but yeah, it's a ball bearing. I thought I had bushings for some reason. This also has a mechanical speed control and this car, even though it was re-released, did come with the mechanical speed control. It wasn't like the later ones that did come with an ESC. It has a Duratrax, Auto Sport, forward and reverse. I think it's the IntelliSpeed, something like that. It's had that since I got the car. Unlike most grasshoppers, I would say anyway, this car still has its 380 motor. I kind of like how slow it is. I think that it gives this car more of a, you know, original feel. It does have a 27 band radio. It's not going to have that much longer. I'm going to be ditching every single low band that I have on all of my cars. One of the few upgrades on this car is the Ampro battery retainer. I hate the stock door and this one here prevents it from ever falling out and uh, looks good. On and off switches in the stock location. Uh, the car doesn't appear to be really driven much, but it really is. I drive the car quite often. I just don't jump it uh, much anymore. You can see the front bumper's got a little bit of scrapes on it, but the body really doesn't. I think I'm beyond that point, especially with a car like this. The car's body has been painted. I didn't put the decals over the stock plastic, but what I did is I gave it a base coat of a antique white. I wanted to give it the appearance of an original grasshopper that's yellowed over the years. I kind of just, I don't know, I kind of like the slightly warmer tone on this versus a car that's bright white. The decals obviously are applied just like the box shows. However, the entire thing has been clear coated, so these decals will never peel. I can wash the body uh, under the sink and, you know, the decals will always be there. And just kind of looking at the car, I mean, it's pretty much original. It does have original springs at the rear. I want to say UG, but it's not. It's, uh, I can't remember who made these, but... Um, they were really cool. I don't know if they do anything, but almost all of my grasshoppers and hornets have that. Spotlights, of course, are painted. I don't know if these are supposed to be black or if they're supposed to be silver, but I, you know, I liked that look. It's really, again, unfortunate that it has these generic nameplates and not a, you know, not a genuine one. The grasshopper driver. This is a funny one. So my sister painted this years and years ago. I don't know if it was supposed to be in the grasshopper. I don't think so because she was probably in her late teens when she gave me the grasshopper. So I think she was even younger. This driver may have been for the Hornet, but she had these fake little stick on earrings. This is, I think a bunny. So she put them on either side of the driver's head. You know, it's one of those things where, you know, has a sentimental history. So I left it there. So she painted the driver and the face and, you know, all that stuff. I think I may have done the bottom, but that's why it's got the little bunny ears and all that on the driver. Obviously, as the MSC is for decor, the resistor is also for display. So yeah, really not too much on this car to look at. Like I said, right now it does have a Novak Polaris. The, the servo is a Futaba 3003. And this Futaba 148 uh, is dead. That's why I have, I have a lot of broken servos that I just kind of throw in here to yeah, take up space. So that is the Ampro Grasshopper. Uh, if you own a Grasshopper and built it out of the box, you pretty much have the Ampro Grasshopper. Oh, this is loose, isn't it? Oh my goodness. That is loose. We'll have to fix that. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will definitely have some more of these uh, My Car series coming shortly. See you next time.